Welcome to Other Levels. In today's episode, we continue our practical journey into data analysis using Excel dashboards. This video is part of our in-depth series, where we go beyond visuals and dive deep into the numbers behind property performance. Let's imagine we are managing a portfolio of rental properties. Our first objective is to analyze monthly rental income, the core source of revenue for any property management business. We begin by examining our data set. Column B contains property names, column C represents months, and column D holds the rent values. Using this structured data, we'll create our first pivot table. In this pivot table, we'll place the months in the row labels and sum the rent values in the value field. Instantly, this gives us a clear monthly income summary across all properties. To make our dashboard interactive, we'll add a slicer connected to property names. This allows us to filter the analysis and drill down into the performance of any specific property, or even compare multiple properties side by side. With just a few clicks, you'll be able to isolate trends and spot variations in income across your portfolio. This foundational step sets the stage for the rest of our dashboard. From here, we'll expand to analyze expenses, additional revenue streams, and key property details. But before that, let's build on what we've done so far. Let's move on to the next critical analysis, displaying the total rent for each individual property. This is a must-have feature in any real estate dashboard because it gives a quick, clear view of how much each unit is contributing over the year. To do this, we'll create a new pivot table. In the row, we place the property names, and in the value field, we sum the rent column. This setup provides us with a clean summary of annual rental income for each of our 30 properties. If you want to filter this data by month, simply add a month-based slicer. For example, select January or February, and immediately the chart updates to show rental income for that period only. You can also select multiple months to create quarterly or semi-annual views. Thanks to Excel's powerful filtering options, you can customize this view however you like, making it easy to track performance over time. This kind of flexible analysis is essential for making informed decisions, identifying top-performing properties, and addressing underperformance early. Let's now revisit the broader picture total income. It's important that this metric is clearly displayed in your dashboard. So, we'll add a new pivot table and place the total income field in the values area. You might see something like $804,000 representing total rent collected over 12 months for all properties. If you want to reference this number dynamically elsewhere in your dashboard, simply link a cell to the grand total using this formula. Equals then select the grand total, and press OK. This ensures the value updates automatically based on any slice or selection. Next, let's break down sources of additional income. These might include late fees, leasing fees, renewal charges, inspection fees, utilities, and any other extras that don't fall under base rent. To visualize this, we'll build a new pivot table including these columns, and then create a radar chart. This type of chart helps highlight which income streams are strongest and it adds visual variety to the dashboard. At a glance, you'll see where the real money is coming from whether it's rent, late payments, or fees and that can guide your future leasing strategy. Now let's focus on analyzing total expenses. In our data set, we have about six major categories of expenses. This might include gardening, leasing commissions, management fees, maintenance, and more. We start by creating a new pivot table with total expenses in the value area. But to truly understand your cost structure, we need to analyze the composition of these expenses. We'll build another pivot table with the expense categories in the values summed.
To visualize this breakdown, we'll use a donut chart. To make this analysis more detailed, we duplicate the pivot table and add months to the rows. This shows us how expenses are distributed across each month, helping you spot trends or seasonal spikes in spending. This gives us a complete view of the annual expenditure across the entire portfolio. This level of visibility helps in budgeting, cost cutting, and improving profitability. Now that we've analyzed income, rent, additional revenue, and expenses, let's add one more vital layer to our dashboard, management income. At other level solutions or OLS our company charges a fixed management fee for handling each property. This rate varies slightly depending on the property 7% for some, 6% for others. To calculate this income, we use a simple formula, rent amount multiplied by the management rate. This gives us the management revenue per property. We'll set up another pivot table with property names in the row labels and the calculated management income in the values area. We'll also configure the management rate to show as an average where applicable. To visualize this, we'll create a column chart, showing management income per property. It's a useful metric for internal tracking, helping you understand how much your company earns from managing each asset. We'll also display the total management income across the entire portfolio giving a full picture of OLS's earnings. Finally, we come to a crucial part of the dashboard property and owner details. Our data sheet includes essential fields like property name, owner name, mailing address, SIP code, email address, management plan, property address, and notes. But we won't use all of them. Instead, we'll focus on the most important ones. Selected property name, owner name, mailing address, email, security deposit amount, and any notes related to the property. To keep the dashboard simple, we won't add a separate slicer. Instead, we'll use the existing property slicer to control this section. Using VLOOKUP formulas, we'll link the property statement and property details sheets together. This means that when a user selects a property, the corresponding owner information appears automatically. If no property is selected, the cells remain blank or show a placeholder. This dynamic lookup feature adds a professional touch and gives users quick access to key owner info without overwhelming the dashboard. And that wraps up our full analysis workflow for the rental property performance dashboard. We've gone from income and rent to expenses, management revenue, and property owner details all in one interactive, dynamic dashboard. Stay tuned for the next video in the series, where we'll continue exploring smart ways to turn data into insights using Excel. If you'd like to download the full dataset and practice building this dashboard yourself, Visit us at other-levels.com. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next lesson.